Lefty. Is uh, anybody know what the stuff on him's called? This this stuff right here. Wool. Wool. No, it's called hair. Specifically, <laughs> specifically called mohair. He likes to open his mouth a lot. It's like he's singing or something. <laughs> Good morning guys. It is Friday and we are going to Ag Day at the, our activity center where a bunch of schools from our county are going to come and learn about agriculture. So we are loading up this guy right here, Lefty, and Clancy's going to take him up there and he's going to talk to kids about um, Angora goats. So y'all stay tuned and I'll try to get some footage of that. Go, go the other direction. Okay. Get him on. Good job. Go. Oh, get Thelma. Oh. Get Thelma. I got her. I got her. I almost almost. Don't get worn. Don't get worn. Just grab her. Grab her. I'm grab her. trying to put this down. Well, crisis averted. We got Thelma back in the pen. Get on up there, Lefty. Get up there. Pull him up. <clears throat> I don't think they like being away from each other. Are you missing Lefty, Thelma? He'll be back in just a few hours, I promise. Do you have everything else fed? You have everything else fed? You got a water bucket? Bye kitties. Bye kitties. Bye kitties. All right, we made it up here. We've got Lefty in the pen. Hey Lefty. Clancy's mad at me because I wouldn't stop and get him breakfast because I didn't want to drive through town with a trailer and try to figure out how to get in and out of places. <laughs> Anyways, but they have breakfast bars up here, so he's fine. Anyways, I'm on water duty right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find water. Uh oh, they got the water way different than you do. <laughs> way different than you. You didn't do your order. Right? Do your order like McKaylee has hers, so that it looks the same. Oh, I was supposed to be over there helping Ty. Oops. That's just the way that Kinsley had hers. That's yeah, now, now everybody's con kind of consistent. Nobody's consistent because I'm the only one that hasn't had breakfast. Your dad's on, your dad's on his way. <laughs> Is he really? Yes. Yes. Are you going to be in a better mood now? Yes. All right, so we're at the Kids, Cows, and More Expo a.k.a. Ag Day here in our town. I've been helping set up the Farm Bureau booth right now. I'll show you it in a minute. But I'm going to go out and get some water. I see what you come get it for me. Mean old thing. But it's going to go good. Cody rescued plants and brought him some breakfast. A little spoiled thing. So, anyways, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll try to video a little bit. I don't want to get too many kids in it, but I'll try to video it all for y'all. Uh, the, my baby goats aren't his baby goats, but I bought them from the same people. He's opening his mouth on Freddy's going to bite me. Does he bite? Well, I mean, it's like a nibble, kind of. Like, he's already chewed on my shirt today oh, he while I was holding him. So, he don't, you don't have baby goats of him? Uh, no, not from him. All right, my name's Clancy. This is my Angora goat. His name's Lefty. Is, uh, anybody know what the stuff on him's called? This... This stuff right here? Wool. Wool? No, it's called hair. Specifically, <laughs> specifically called mohair. He likes to open his mouth a lot. It's like he's singing or something. But, but I've had him for about three months now. I just bought him, he's pretty brand new. But, so, his name's Lefty, like I've said. I've been showing Angors for about two years now. This is my second year showing them. 
and I have four of them. I feed them twice a day, just like anybody have a dog. Raise your hand if you have a dog. You feed y'all feed y'all's dog twice a day, right? Well, we feed we I feed my egg gore goat twice a day, and I make sure they have water. And so, does anybody know how many pounds I would feed him? Maybe. Uh, that's a little high. Yes? How about uh, like seven pounds? No, it's not that high. Only a couple pounds. Yeah, only a couple, about four pounds a day. So, we feed, I feed him <laughs> about, he gets about two pounds a day, and then I have a nanny, which is a girl. She gets about two pounds a day, and then I have two babies, and they both get one pound a day. And so, does anybody know what what a boy an angora goat's called? What a boy goat's called? Yes. Uh, no. Does anybody else have a guess what a boy goat is called? Maybe a bull. No. Um, a belly goat. Yeah, billy goat. That's correct. <laughs> so he's a billy goat. I have a baby billy goat. A, and a girl goat, I've already said it, anybody been listening? What's a girl goat called? You got it? No? Um, is it a what? You're wrong. What's the answer? Nanny? Yeah, nanny. What's a nanny? A nanny is a girl goat. So I have a baby girl goat, which is a nanny, and a mama girl goat, which is a nanny. So, yeah, that's about all I have. And then, so, you shear your angora goats. How many times do you think we, sh so shearing is like a haircut for my angora goats. We cut all their hair off so they're not as hot during the summer and stuff. So how many times do you think I do that a year? No, in the back. Oh, you're getting closer. No. Ten. No, littler. No. Um, maybe about two. Twice. We we shear. I shear my angora goats twice a year. About like, kind of not really beginning of the year, but kind of beginning of the year and around the end of the year. So. Yeah, I mean. Any questions? Um, where does goat milk come out of? Just back there. There, uh, I don't know how to say it. Um, udders. udders, udders, yeah. Uh, like a cow. Like a cow, just like a cow. Goats like chewing on everything, really. Why do goats like to chew on everything? They're just crazy like that. Any questions for her? Does anybody have any questions about the lamp? Yes. Why does she have something on her? Okay, so he has this black thing around his face that I can take off. and. It's called a muzzle, and so they prevent them from, like you saw how lefties chewing on the shavings and the bars. And well, we don't want the lambs to have it because it's really bad for their, whenever it gets into their stomachs and stuff. So for lambs, it's not okay, but for goats, it's okay. And the so muzzle like doesn't the hurt them or anything. No, it, they can still drink water and breathe out of it. It just keeps him from chewing on stuff, like, keeps him from doing what he's doing. <laughs> also, one more thing that I have to say. So, you know how I told you that they have hair? It's actually called mohair. So, like, does anybody's grandma knit, like, make a sweaters or maybe scarves or something? Well, so that's what mohair is, the little, the fabric or whatever you use 
to do it with. And then, so like super expensive sweaters, you see like how it's, what it's kind of made of? That's also made of mohair. Cashmere, super expensive. Oh well, yeah, that's made of mohair. And then, so like, so like uh, cows, you know how like cows, like their hooves, that's jello. So like goats and stuff, they're made of, cr crowns are made of goats. There's certain goat stuff in them that's in crowns. Question? Um, no, I don't think he could jump over this. It's a little tall for him. Does he what? Why does he sort of look like a ram? Well, so like, Angora goats also get confused with lambs because they look super similar to lambs. But, so like a ram, that's a, that's a lamb, like that one right there. That, he's a, that's a boy, right? That yes. one is. So that's a ram right there. He just doesn't have horns. Not all rams have horns. But this one's a, he's a billy goat and he has big old horns. I always love big old horns whenever I get one. We call this an ear of corn. Why do we call it an ear of corn? Anybody, any ideas? It's kind of tough, I know. Does that have layers? Say that again. Does that have layers? Oh, he does have layers, yeah. You know, I think we call it an ear of corn because it hangs off the stalk like it does an ear, right? So that was the Farm Bureau boots. I'm not helping with that one because um, they've got enough help this year. So I'm just trying to get some pictures of it for our social media though. So they are doing it. Ty is doing an excellent job. He always does a great job with that one. He's a good presenter, relates to the kids good. So. I'll show you some more booths. Lane, you had not had a group yet? Nope. What? Are you, do you always, to, uh, what are those things? Show six. Show six. You always used to show six? No. I'm You're just jacking with him? <laughs> I think it feels good. It's, it feels very good. It's like back scratcher. Yeah. I need Reaching some of those. Hard so they can't get to. I need some of those. Yeah? You want to talk to it? Anybody want to talk to it? No? This is the beef station. Who's doing the beef station? Yeah. Are you in it too? You should do it. Y'all are all in it? <laughs> Y'all are doing a great job even though you haven't had a class yet. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do a great job. Who's going to talk? Everybody. A little bit of everybody. Okay. Well, he's... Looks good. Well, then it won't be fun. I just want to talk about the deal for a minute. You better show you too. Clancy's being mean and he won't show his face, y'all. But we just got home from Ag Day and it went super good. Um, Clancy did an amazing job. Hopefully everything, all of it videoed right and you're going to be able to see him talking a little bit. And he did a really good job because he like engaged everybody. He asked questions to the kids. He didn't just talk at them or um, talk facts to them. He just related it to their own dogs or cats and other animals that they would take care of. So he did an awesome job. He won't show his face, but Anyways, and we made it home, we unloaded him, and we unhooked the trailer all on our own. We're like pros now. We can do anything, right, babe? Right, Glance? He won't, he won't talk or look at y'all. But anyways, Ag Day was great. Um, the Farm Bureau, we went and got him some pizza, so the, all the kids, uh, all the leaders got to eat afterwards. And now everybody's going back to school. Well, Gatesville's out of school, but Clance is going to school now because it's homecoming. So stay tuned for some homecoming. Presenting tonight's homecoming for Queen and King is our 2021 Queen and King, Kylie Deason and Manny Torres. Go Kai! So great to see two of our former former Eagles back from school and work to help with the crowning of this year's new court. No, it's separate. And now for our 2022 homecoming King and Queen, this year's 2022 homecoming King. Is Mr. Tyler Wilson. I picked Tyler. I picked Tyler. Is there going to be sound in this? Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Tyler. Manny said, you better wear that all day. 
<laughs> and finally, this year's 2022 homecoming queen is Miss Alyssa Shoemaker. <laughs> I didn't vote for a girl. I didn't know who to choose. Oh my God, she's so pretty. Alyssa's so beautiful. I love Alyssa. And Kylie. Oh. Then you got that team stretching over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. Ah. Oh no. Hey, are you doing a good job? Yes, I'm doing a good job. I'm paying oh, attention. Pretty hey, hard stop not. shaking. I'm just holding. Again, we'd like to congratulate all of our nominees for the 2022 Homecoming Court. I'm sure there'll be some pictures there and all that good stuff as we clear off our Homecoming Court. Also, we'd like to take a moment and just welcome all of our alumni back. If you're a Jonesboro ISD graduate, if you would stand up so we can all see who you are. Jonesboro ISD graduates, stand up and be recognized. It's good to see you guys. Oh, yeah. Clancy's homecoming date. Look, look, like this. Hey, give me a three point. Three point, let's go. Clancy's go. Go, we go! Did you do a video? Yes. Okay, now take. Look at how sweet it is.